Hi, in today's video I'm going to paint this little uh, blue French Bulldog for you. I'm going to list the paints in a minute that I used and um, this is a square canvas that's uh, I think it's 12 by 12 uh, stretched canvas. So let's get into it. So as usual I'm just going to start um, sketching out the rough shape and uh, where it's going to sit on the canvas uh, so that it has um, a nice sort of space around it. I don't want it too tight up to the um, sides of the canvas. As you can see, I, I had to move this one over because I started from the get-go <laughs> right in the wrong place, which is often what happens. Um, and sometimes you end up drawing it out of proportion. You can't fit the body on, blah, blah, blah. So um, I like to just sketch it out um, roughly, it doesn't have to be in any great detail, it doesn't have to be a masterpiece, just uh, sketching it out where the, almost where the top of the animal or, or whatever subject you're painting and the bottom and they should sit sort of quite comfortably within the sides of the canvas. And then in the next stage all I'm going to do is sort of um, start mapping out um, and blocking in the solid darker areas um and um you know just deciding where the darkest bits are um and i will do those first and leave the leave the light bits anything that's going to be lighter will be left um untouched or done with a a weaker wash and i loosen my washes with um linseed oil or you know just reduce the amount of uh, paint you you need i don't at this stage use white to change the colours. I might use black though actually to darken it. Um, but yeah just so we just you can see like these are the parts of the body that are most in shadow. So I'm just gonna almost just, just remind us to myself really at this stage. Um, um, and then if, with anything you start off with these sort of lumpy really quite rough and ready um, shapes and and it's like um I don't know if any of you do digital painting but it's it's really very much the same um and sometimes when I do my illustrations and I, I will put them into and I want to reproduce them for say a greeting card or um you know a print especially my ink and watercolors um characters and not not so much my landscapes um but when I put them in, I need to refine the details so that it comes out in a print well. And um, what I will do is I will take away the background and I will refine the um, edges and um, the colours and things like that so that it's more radiant for a print. It, it's, it's a little bit what how you would do um, this kind of painting. You start off really with just a rough shape. Um, that doesn't translate particularly well with the eye, but already you can see that, um, you know, this is um, a dog. Um, and you can even actually really see that it's a French bulldog. Um, and then uh, from now on in, all you're doing now is, is refining all the shapes, including the outside shape, which you will refine with negative painting, which you can do by um, sculpting it. Uh, using the background and then you'll refine all the inner shapes so the inner shapes can be something as, as tiny as a little a little toe in a paw or the nose or the ears um, you know you have a little bit of pink splash in the ears and you can see where I've left white on his chest because he has a white fleck on his chest and I've left white on the front of his um, leg uh, uh, because his foreleg because obviously that is where the light is shining and all these shapes, you're just refining all the way through the painting, really. I'll just speed this next section up. Um, again, just as I said before, refining the darks, the lights, restating them. And just, just you're just sculpting um, by smaller and more detailed strokes. Um, you're bringing to life the dog just like the pink I just put in his ears there. Then I added some highlights because I wanted to um, uh, demonstrate to myself the range of values between the darks and the lights and there is a very white white bit of white on his chest and nose 
um, and I wanted to get that in there to remind myself of the range of values uh, between the darks and the lights, which were which were quite significant. Um, so I thought I'd get that in now. It was a little touch of pink on his shoulder, and I think he needed a little bit more uh, refinement using some negative painting around his back area. And for anyone who doesn't know, uh, negative painting is refining the subject using by sculpting around the shape uh, using the background rather than the uh, sculpting within the shape. And so here's a quick example where I uh, sculpt the shape of the dog by um, negative painting around his face and shoulder area. And then in this clip you can just see me refining the um, shapes still further and restating again the values so that we've got now his face starts to take on some shape as well do some of the details on his body such as the white flash on his um, chest that's now been refined by the dark values around it. And that's just by restating, going over and refining the shapes, as I said earlier. And then one of the most important things to get right, of course, is the eyes um, and the nose in a way, but largely the eyes, because obviously the eyes are the window of the soul, even in animals, let's face it. Um, and whilst I don't go into super detail in the eyes either, I do pay a little bit more attention. Obviously, because they're small, I have to go down um, a brush. And really, the eyes are so dramatic in a way because they have the whole value range within them. They're ranging from the darkest dark <clears throat> in the pupil to the lightest light, which is the glint of light, you know, the flash of light that you usually get, um, usually over the pupil or the iris somewhere. Um, this dog had beautiful blue eyes as well, so that was a really nice, you could vary the range, even uh, the range of value, even within the blue of the eye, obviously parts of it are dark, and then you get a flash of a very light part of the eye. So there's quite a lot of detail without going into detail, just by placing blobs of colour in the right spot. Once you get to this stage in a painting, really all you're doing is just refining and restating, so the two R's, not the three R's in art. Um, you're just refining the detail so each of your uh, paint strokes gets sort of smaller and more precise, um, and then refine, um, what did I say? <laughs> I can't even remember what I said. And then restating, that's right, restating the darks and the lights so that they haven't got lost along the way and that you're very sure your value range is strong and a vibrant and then in this one obviously I just went round and put a little bit of shadowy context around him and that gave me the further opportunity to um, do a bit of negative painting around his body shape and crisp that up a bit. This is a stage in the painting where you can now take it to realism if you want or you can just you know finish it off and leave it a bit, a bit nice and loose. Um, I'm pretty much done with it um, so um, I hope it helped. Thanks for watching. Um, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below, like and share and subscribe. Um, and then, um, yeah, I'll see you in the next video. Hope you liked it. Thanks for watching. Bye.